everybody, and a welcome to the next map that I'm going to play, which is Hoth Lambda Base. In the previous video, I already talked about that I would be doing more Hoth maps. And I uh, made the notion that in terms of the modded maps that are out there with Hoth, um, most of them, uh, there's not a whole lot that offer a very different experience than the assault we, of course, see in the movies. Um, exceptions are, of course, the, the cave system, the trenches, uh, but also... I guess the one true uh, Hoth map that everybody talks about is, I think, Empire Strikes Back, where you have hundreds of units, uh, but a really long build-up. I will review that on the channel eventually. As you can see here, the setup is the same, though the layout of the map is very different and way more straightforward instead of uh, almost like a fishhook type of um, layout that the vanilla map has. That's definitely not the case here. You can see that both of the ATATs head straight towards the shield generator uh, and the rebel Our base. Which I guess in a way is a bit more true to the actual movie. It's also more like that, uh, like the battle for Crate, and of course Last Jedi. Now, you might actually notice how bright it is, right, and how uh, white everything is. And I have to say that I turned off bloom, light bloom. I turned that off, and it's still like that. So you can just imagine how incredibly white and fluorescent it is if you turn on bloom. And this is definitely uh, a map where I would say don't. I do like it. I like how uh, bright and vibrant it can be. Uh, there's a lot of things out there, but of course the problem here is that if you make it too white You kind of lose the textures and the detail. Let's say look if I press uh, escape You can clearly see the textures that otherwise get lost uh, with this You can definitely see though that the rebel base itself is actually way more complex than the vanilla one Mostly also because that is what this uh, map revolves around. So the vanilla map obviously has... It has three main bases. It has a main base here, this small one. It has a main base here that connects to the hangar. And then it has the hangar, which is the big one. Uh, let's actually get into the AT-AT. Shield generator is, of course, damage that will happen very quickly. Uh, because of the free reign that they have. In the vanilla map, you do actually have to do a little bit of homework before you reach that point. And this is overall a smaller map, I would say, with the, the, the battle in the uh, snowfield. Meaning it might not be as interesting as the vanilla one in terms of the AT-AT -AT gameplay. I don't know who here likes to actually play as the AT-AT. -AT. I do like it, but only maybe for like a minute or two, and then the, the slowness of it gets a little bit on my nerves, and I usually change. Now, that doesn't mean, of course, that I don't want the AT-AT. -AT. I wouldn't want a proper Hoth large-skill battle without the walkers. How the hell am I getting to that side? This again, of course, very reminiscent of the vanilla map, and we have had a mod or a custom map that was nothing but this, which is also cool, but can be a little bit monotonous. We're losing reinforcements. A command post is under imperial control. Again, I don't think that this custom map takes like huge you know, huge steps or chances to uh, provide something different. But the layout is different enough to where you can at least give it a try. Maybe it's also because there's just a limited amount of stuff you can do in a snowy area. Think about it. Geonosis, or even the Desert of Tatooine, you can do a lot there with canyons, wastes, uh, wastelands, villages. There are no villages in Hoth.
Even if I think about um, Star Wars games where they have levels on Hoth, you're either always in the open field or going through a base. Maybe a Wampa Cave, but... Uh, here we go. Here we, of course, have the transport ships. A lot of turrets. That's actually very cool. Unfortunately, the AI does not utilize them to... Oh, no, they're auto turrets. Oh, that's cool. Never mind. That's actually really dope. Now, of course, for Darth Vader. And you can see again how my lightsaber is getting lost in that light bloom. Now, that's not the fault of this... Uh, map maker. It's just kind of like the lighting, I guess, in the engine itself. We've Too bright. And of course, this in the circular motion with these trenches are, of course, a little bit more... Um, capable of hosting like a small sort of like deathmatch map, like we saw with the Hoth uh, trenches map. This is a neat little area. It's actually cool too because there are no enemy AI here whatsoever. However, the auto turrets do actually make it to where there's a little bit of conflict here. There's a little bit of challenge and something to do for me. But... Mm, again, not a whole lot of people here. About to lose my Vader. A command post is under Imperial control. Their reinforcements there we go. are dwindling. It is done, Master. All right. Command post is under hostile control. And it's a shame too that well, I guess I mean it. It, it, it kind of goes into phases, isn't it? But the phase on the uh, snowfield, in my opinion, goes over a little bit too quickly. In that sense, what I would like to see maybe someday is have it like this. So have it in a straight pattern, right? Where all the walkers start straight ahead of um, for a frontal assault. But instead, have like uh, another trench line further down there and a few maybe bunkers here. There some turrets to almost have like, um, I don't know, a set up outpost in front of it. Which, of course, is quite similar to how the vanilla map is. But instead of having it, for example, cornered, uh, or in a corner, you will have it straight on the battlefield at the front. Almost sort of like replicating how um, trenches were in World War One. So as you can see, there's not a whole lot to do here. And it's really cool. I mean, we've seen it a lot, a lot of times, but it is really cool. Oh, wait. We were capturing something. Good thing, though, is that despite the AI not being able to really go to the northern part with the transport ships, they are very well capable of actually going through these, uh, these cave systems. There, I rest my case. I killed a few of my own people, but hey. Vader's known for sometimes, uh, you know, laying down the whip on his own people. We've lost the command post. Take it back. We're losing reinforcements. It's nice, though. Again, it's another take. It's not very different, but you know what? You actually also don't have to uh, have a super different experience. If you have suddenly a purple Hoth... ...or something that doesn't straight or stay true to the lore at all, that's, of course, also not what we want. Our numbers are being depleted. A command post for the Empire. Hostile reinforcement count is diminishing. Oh, look at that. We even have a side over here. 
Some trenches. Again, nothing here, though. Completely empty. We've captured a command post. Hostile reinforcement count is diminishing. I know. Darth Vader and a snowspeeder. That's something I always wanted. Can we see him inside? Anyway, guys, we're about to end this, so... Um, if you want to download this, the download link to this map is in the description uh, down below. Don't forget to let me know any recommendations or requests of maps or mods you want to see on the channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.